Today, most calculators look like this. But one day, they might look more like this. This is Numworks. With a $99 price tag, the features of a fully fledged graphing calculator and an easy to use interface, it aims to make learning math easier and more intuitive for a generation that has grown up using technology. In this video, I will be going over a few reasons why you might want to consider the Numworks calculator over the TI-84 Plus CE calculator, and a few reasons why you might want to do the opposite. One of the many great things about this calculator is the inclusion of a computer algebra system. This essentially means that you can type in expressions such as the square root of x squared, and it will return x instead of the value of x such as on the TI-84 plus CE calculator. Another advantage this has is the speed of the calculator. Take a look at these two calculators graphing the same three equations. Numworks does it nearly instantly, while the CE takes several seconds to catch up. If you are interested in programming, the Numworks calculator is by far the better option in my opinion. Whereas the CE uses TI Basic, which as the name would suggest is incredibly basic and limiting, the Numeworks uses Python, one of the most popular programming languages in the world. In this example, they are both running identical programs that count from zero to the number typed in. The Numeworks once again blows away its competition. Additionally, this calculator is improving at a rapid rate. Despite the fact that it was released less than a year ago, it has already received six updates, adding new functionality. If you are feeling adventurous, you can even add your own functionality, as this operating system, which is called Epsilon, is entirely open source and programmed in C++. Now that you have heard some of the advantages of the Numworks calculator, here are a few things it lacks, and that I hope will be improved in the future. Firstly, this calculator has no equation solver, advanced statistical functions, and other such features. These are things that I use a lot on the CE calculator, so I hope that these things will be added soon. Other than a few lacking features, the only other problem I encountered was the keyboard. It can sometimes be difficult to see the yellow text on the buttons, which indicate the secondary functions. This, along with the fact that the keyboard may be unfamiliar for those used to the TI series of calculators, means that it can be slow to type on, although I am sure typing speed will increase with use. All in all, this is an excellent calculator that will only continue to get better. I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you are interested in programming. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to get to your questions. I am TID4 Calquiz and I will see you in the next video.